Hey everybody, I'm Grandmaster Ben Feingold here with another Five Minutes with Ben. Today we're going to look at two very famous players. Maybe they're not the best players in the world, but that's okay, as long as you know who they are. Uh, white is Levy Roseman, also known as Gotham Chess, and black is Hans Niemann. Now you might be saying, Levy versus Niemann, isn't Niemann just going to win? Well, this game was played in 2016, seven years ago. And seven years ago, Hans wasn't very old. He was probably 12 or 13 when this game was played. And his rating was 100 points lower than Levy's rating. So Levy is actually the favorite in this game. They played now, maybe not. This was played in Dallas in the fall open in 2016. And we have a very crazy position. So probably Hans was pretty happy here. He likes these messy positions. Okay, and white just played the move bishop g5, and Levy is white, also known as Gotham chess. He played bishop g5. However, in 2016, I don't think he was Gotham chess yet. So, okay, and he's pinning the knight to the queen, and in this position, Hans made a losing blunder. And Hans got a lot better at tactics since this game was played. Although I must say, even though black is up a pawn, I prefer white because white has the c4 square, white has the e4 square, and black's king doesn't look too good, his knight's being kettoed, and I like, I don't like black's position. And here, black, uh, I'm sorry, white has an obvious threat, and it's not super easy to defend against it, but what he did just, he missed it, I guess. He played the move knight f5, also known as knife f5, although that's usually when white plays it. And now white can simply win a piece. He took the knight on f6 and played queen e4 check, forking the king and the bishop. Hans wasn't always 2700, and when he was a little kid, sometimes he'd make mistakes. Hans played bishop e7. Now Levy's up a piece. They traded knights. Hans took the pawn. Now he's attacking the rook, has two dangerous pass pawns, some compensation for a piece. Rook b1, queen c2. E4, getting the nice squares for the white bishop. King D7. I mean, it's not really safe to put black's king anywhere. I guess D7 is as good as any. Bishop D3 attacking the queen. Hans played queen C3, pitting the knight. And this, I think, is the move of the game. And it's not an exciting move. It just shows that Levy has great understanding of the position. His knight is pinned, and he'd like to play knight C4. So he, he played a great move. He played king e2. A lot of people would be afraid to play king e2 because, you know, it's king e2. Your king's in the center. But that unpins the knight. It lets this rook come out, lets the knight come here. The king is perfectly safe on e2. There's no problem with the king on e2. Hans played bishop f6, which is actually a mistake, but, I mean, he's losing anyway. And... Levy played knight c4. Now, not only is white up a piece, white's threatening queen takes d6 check and white's threatening knight b6 check winning an exchange, which would put him up a rook. Although maybe Levy didn't intend to do that because Levy's knight is so good. Maybe just leave the knight there. Anyway, Hans had enough. Hans resigned. Levy's completely winning. And this was a game they played before they were famous because in the chess world, that happens. People are lower rated when they're younger. And then when they're older, the most famous players in the world are very high rated. And this was before they were older. So their ratings weren't so high, but they played interesting chess. And since this game, Hans has gotten a lot better. And Levy has gotten a lot better as a streamer. So both sides are happy, I guess, if that's possible. I'm Grandmaster Ben Feingold. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time with another 5 Minutes with Ben. Bye.